Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe from Joe Plays Games, and I'm coming to you today with something a little bit different. So here is the uh, Resident Evil 7 teaser, the beginning hour. Um, this came out back in 2016, uh, and it was it's free to play on the Steam Marketplace. Uh, so this was something that was just released really quick to um, get people hyped up for Resident Evil 7. And what I'm planning on doing with this today is just going through and doing a quick little run-through of this to kind of, you know, tease my own new series that's coming to the channel. I figured that um, with the change that was coming to my personal life with the, the new, like, hours that I'm going to be working with my my job, going back to work, uh, I wanted to have something on the channel that was a little bit um, that I can do faster and um, cut back uh, both Fallout New Vegas and uh, Final Fantasy VIII down to one time a week because those long series, even though they're a lot of fun for me to do, they are taking up a lot of my time. So like what I wanted, like I said, I, I want to do something a little bit quicker. So here we go. Let's get started with um, the teaser uh, prologue for Resident Evil 7. What's going on here? Now definitely the thing that I like about uh, this new Resident Evil is it's it's all first person. It, it's the first Resident Evil game of its kind to be in first person so... I, I I grew up a, a big fan of Resident Evil when I was uh, younger, so this is uh, this is exciting for me, especially since you know I, I'm a fan of ooh, what's going on back there. So anyway, I'm I'm just a big fan of horror games in general. So um, the fact that this was hyped to be such a great game just has me so excited. This is um, I've played through this. Um, but as far as the main game goes, it's completely fresh to me. So, let's see. Get out of the house. All right. Yeah. So I'm I'm a big fan of like Outlast, as you can tell from what I have on the channel. Um. So this I I was so happy to see that this game was in uh, first person, just like Outlast. Fuse is missing. I've never gotten the good ending for this, so I'm definitely going to try that. Um, if I end up getting one of the bad endings, which is probably very likely, um, that's just what happens. So let's go ahead and look around. See what we got. No water in the tank. See if we got anything going on here. Some handgun ammo. And I can press tab to check the inventory, and there we go, we have the handgun ammo right there. Cool. It's in here. Nothing. And that's locked. Search the other side of the house. What do we got going here? Nothing that I can... Ooh. Creepy dolls. That's what we got going on here. Okay. Didn't know those were there. Dummy finger. Let's 
continue to search around here, see what we can find. Ooh, rancid. Anything worth taking? I think the game would have flagged it to us. All right. locked. There's nothing there. Okay. Turn off the faucet. Not be rude. Let's change shut. Beautiful. Some bolt. Oh. Creepy ass doll, man. Alright, well, we can uh, clip this chain off with the bolt cutters. And inside is the derelict house footage. Let's check that out. First, let's look around up here, see what we got going on. Creepy mannequins. That mannequin move. I'm exploring this uh, place a lot more thoroughly than I did on my uh, my first run of this. Uh, so basically, what I did was I went to get the uh, the videotape, watched it, and basically got that ending. So let's check out what this videotape is. Derelict house, June first. Dolby haunted house. Rehearsal. Who? Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. I tried to zoom in with the mouse wheel. <laughs> I'm I'm too used to playing out last. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. <laughs> Are we rolling? Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Get out it, of the way. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sound. Ooh, is it haunted? I was an anchor, you know. We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Sorry, Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! <laughs> no, I should have worn my good shoes. 
Oh, shit. Glad I had my shot. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? There's no expression on his face. <laughs> Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? He went this way, I think. Where is he? Unfucking believable. It's the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? Get of me. Good cameraman? Weren't you just saying that you didn't like Clancy? Creepy dolls are gone. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Andre? Where the fuck is he? Andre, where are you, man? How did you know to look in there? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Alright, you first. First, <laughs> need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Sure. So, uh, you first. Yeah, okay. What do you see? What is it? Let's see. Um, hey, there's Andre. Andre. That's not good. Well, alright. Uh, at least we know what happened to those guys. Oh, what's this? I shall dash you against the stones. Uh, oh, underneath it says, I shall dash them against the stones, and now it says, I shall dash you against the stones. I guess I must have missed that. Um. Let's see. Pull chain. I'm just gonna open this up. I'm not actually gonna go down the ladder. Yeah, no, I'm not going to jump down there, so what I'm going to do... Wait. Do I not want to, or do I want to? Because that's the back door key. Actually, yeah, let's jump down here. Yeah. No? No. I can't. Okay. Better yet, then. Let's continue looking, because I want to find this fuse. Now, where's this fuse? I know the back door is somewhere. I don't want to go there. That's still locked, though. The fuse must be somewhere that I didn't think to look. In plain sight, I think. What was that? Th that might be...
might be yeah connected to the fuse okay Oh. Okay. Let's not go that way, because I know I'm going to get a bad ending if I go right towards that door. And it's very tempting. Because it looks so nice. Uh, where in the world... I must have missed it somewhere. I could have sworn that I was able to jump down that hole. Now I can't, for some reason. Oh well. finger it looks nailed shut so I can't get in there doesn't look like there's anything else to interact with in there. I might have done this wrong now that I think about it. But, um, yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check this out then. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, welcome to the family ending. <laughs> but yeah, this game has me super excited for Resident Evil 7. Um, it's all completely fr fresh to me. Ooh, I forgot about this. We gotta get the hell out of here. <sighs> Oh, nice. <laughs> so anyway, uh, <laughs> this is, um, Resident Evil 7. Um, this is the the uh, prologue, I guess you could say, to uh, the main game. So, uh, starting uh, on Thursday, we're actually going to have a, another part of Resident Evil 7, and it will be the beginning of the actual Resident Evil 7. So, uh, in the meantime, I've been Joe, this has been Joe Plays Games, and you have been watching Resident Evil 7. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.